If you ever need to break into a car window, aim for the corners and edges, not the center where the glass is the strongest. Also, if you are ever trapped in a car, the headrest poles are made of a material that are designed to break windows. If you are trapped in a fire in a building, get low. That's where the most breathable air is going to be. You need to chew the aspirin if you take one thinking you're having a heart attack. If your garage door needs maintenance, leave it to the professionals. Garage door springs can kill you if you remove them the wrong way. Keep a survival candle in your car in colder areas. The heat from one candle can keep you from freezing to death for as long as it's lit, which could be up to 36 hours. Condoms can actually be a quick, easy way to store liquids. They can actually hold up to a gallon of water, and they are waterproof, so you can store things like matches or electronics, things you normally wouldn't think to get wet. If you are choking or having a heart attack while you're driving, get out of your car. You can't signal to anyone if you're unconscious in your car, but if you lop over the side of the trunk, people are gonna notice. If your car is stuck on a train track, run in the direction of the train itself. If you run in the same direction that the train is traveling in, you will be hit by the debris of your former car. Don't walk downstairs with your hands in your pockets. When crying for help, try and call out specific people like, hey you, in the red, I'm getting mugged. You also could just yell fire because people will definitely turn and look to see something burning. Use this helpful rhyme if you ever run into a bear. If it's brown, lay down. If it's black, fight back. If it's white, good night. Never mix bleach and ammonia. The result of mixing them is a poisonous gas and this will kill you. If someone grabs you by the arm, don't pull away. Twist your arm instead because your arm can twist in all different directions but their wrists can't. If you've gone two and a half days without water and your only options are don't drink water or drink contaminated water, you need to drink the contaminated water. If you don't, you'll definitely die. Most of the diseases that you will get from bad water may take a couple days to set in which will give you more time to find help. If you ever for some reason ingest a bunch of windshield wiper fluid, drink a lot of vodka with it, that way it'll prevent your kidneys from shredding and give you more time to go to the hospital. If your hair suddenly stands up, duck and cover, you're about to be struck by lightning. If you ever fall off the edge of a subway platform, don't waste your time trying to get back up. There is a crawl space underneath that is meant for situations like this. No matter how thirsty you are, do not eat large amounts of snow. Too much cold ice in your stomach could make you die from hypothermia on the inside. Melt the ice and then drink it. Use your jeans as a life preserver in water by tying the legs together and putting air in it. Always keep a card in your wallet with your blood type and allergies. Flammable and inflammable mean the same thing. Cyanide smells like bitter almonds. Get away from anywhere that smells like that. If your belly hurts on your lower right side, push down on your lower left side. If that produces more pain, it's likely appendicitis. If you think your home is haunted and you've been seeing or hearing a presence, get a carbon monoxide detector. You may be hallucinating and this could be lethal. If you're trying to get through a door in a house fire, put your hand over the door with the backside of your hand first. If it's burning hot, you will have only burned the backside of your hand and can still grip things while you're escaping. Even better, just hover your hand over and that way you could feel if there's something warm behind it. 30 years ago, you had about 17 minutes to escape a house fire. Today, you'd have about three minutes because newer homes and furniture burn faster. Follow for more facts that could save your life one day.